Okay, this is how to build a wood gas generator. Short and easy and without all the technical jargon. Okay, see, so we're walking around this. If you have any idea what you're looking at, you've done your research, you're kind of going to know what's going on here. But okay, so here's what we did, real simple. This is a propane tank with the, this would be the neck end. I cut it off. I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom, make like a grate. I don't know if you can, yeah, you might, yeah, you can see them down there. Wood pellets in it. We ran it last night. Okay, this is a compressor housing from an air conditioner. Now this goes down in here to about right there. That's the bottom of it. This is your ash clean out. This is where the uh, smoke comes out here. And then it comes into your cyclone filter. This cyclone I worked really hard on. The tube comes all the way down to here. I put a bucket of water on it like this when I'm running it and the crap drains into it. You know, I fill it up to about right there. And then, you have your radiator here. Okay. And you have your bed filter. I put chips in it because you can still burn them later. And then here's another key ingredient that I'll grab really quick. I don't know if you can tell what that is. But that's a uh, hunk of a rock wool. And what I do is I take it and I uh, snap it into place like that. Sometimes it gets better the other way. There we go. Snap that into place there. This is made out of an old ammo can. I have a pin that holds it shut, but I'll put it off. I made the power hose kind of long in case I wanted to disconnect it from the motor to run something else. Now, this can be done any various number of ways. Now, we're going to do a short side note on this really quick. Here's an example of what happens if you don't have a properly working cyclone. This was from the previous model before I got that new cyclone. Get all the nice juicy tar in there, right? Show you a couple little clips here of a throttle housing and a manifold. And then what happens if you have a good running cyclone? We uh, ran this 8 horsepower Tecumseh motor, there it is, for 15 minutes and the intake valve is still clean. Here's some clips here. Now, the way this works is, the way mine works, is we have the manifold there. This is a little drain I found that I needed with the tar version, but I don't need it now. Um, this is my intake. I start my reactor by sucking through the intake valve. And this is our fuel adjustment. Here's our oxygen adjustment. And I just piped it right into the side of the motor. And then obviously this is pretty straightforward. You have a belt going to an alternator, so on and so forth. Up to that. Um, I found I can run this one almost ha almost all the way off, and this one needs to stay all the way open, which is telling me that this reactor can supply a lot more fuel than is this motor requires. That eight horsepower over there runs unbelievable on this reactor, so. I basically start this, this is just an old vacuum motor, and I get the smoke going, I light it, and if it lights up, I just take it off, 
and then I can generally start the motor and leave that on there like that and that becomes the air intake and everything so well if you have any more questions let me know I hope this video is a little bit more self-explanatory so there it is thank you